How's everybody doing today? Hope everybody having a wonderful day. Um, this is Corey Lee Boxing. Please like and subscribe. And without further ado, we'll get into Sergey the Crushed. Not the Crusher, but the Crushed Kovalev. Can he be uncrushed? Uh, he uncrushed himself last fight, but the opposition that he's going against is just like, wow. Like, who are these guys? Sabarinsky or whatever his last, last fighter name was. He was, I did hear of him. You know, I'm not going to lie. I heard of him. But uh, Sergey Kovalev in recent notes said that uh, he's not looking past the fighter at tag, at, 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 you know, fighter that's in front of him right now. Uh, do y'all honestly think that Sergey Kovalev is the best at 175 pounds? If y'all see my Ultra Better Be video, he just signed with Top Rank. I honestly think that Ultra Better Be is the better fighter, and he also beat Sergey Kovalev in the amateurs, and that's you know. So you know. And what it is, is um, I'm almost positive that they're both Russian. So they might have fought more than one time. But I've never known if Archer better be, better be losing to Sergey Kovalev in any form or fashion. Um, Sergey Kovalev has two losses now. Um, he's on record saying that the judges, um, you know, screwed him, screwed him up on the first loss. And that... Uh, the second loss that they uh, that the that the uh, the judges purposely did not see him uh, him get low blowed by uh, Andre Ward. He's on file saying that as well. He's on file also saying that he wants a third rematch. Um, I mean, he wants a third fight. Do y'all think that uh, Sergey Kovalev? Do y'all think that uh, he's he's worthy of a third rematch? Y'all think that, you know, coming off those two losses, do you think he's worthy of one, you know? He's fighting a guy, Igor. Um, McCucklin? McCucklin? I'm butchering his name. But anyways, he's uh, he's fighting a guy like him, and uh, he's pretty much beating guy the likes of his last three fights, the guy he's fighting was a guy named Dudu Nibambu. He fought him. He was 37-7. and seven. He fought him for the international boxing. He fought him for the the IBO. The same, the same um, belt Chris Eubank Jr. had, the IBO. That's what this guy, Dudu, had. Um... The guys, yeah, so his name's Dudu. He's 37 and 7, and he got a unanimous decision over that guy. So then he fought a guy named Thomas Athusian. Athusian. And he's 27 0 and 2. He got a unanimous decision over him, 12 rounds. So the guy likes the box, it looks like. His last 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So his last five fights all were unanimous decisions. And he even had a unanimous decision three fights ago over a guy that was eight and six. Couldn't put him away. Maybe a tough journeyman, you know. We'll never know, though. Uh, Yevgeny McContino. Yeah, these, these foreign names really, really are really long. And they're like, they're just, they're, they're crazy, you know what I mean? Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's everybody. I don't know. But anyways, they're hard as shit to pronounce, man. And I'm butchered. I butchered the hell out of Mary Zell. I'm sorry about that. But anyways, man, um, yeah, he fought him. And then he fought for the, before him, he fought for the EBU European title. That guy was 14 and 4 and 1. And, uh, yeah, man, so he's fighting these almost journeyman type guys. And then he just all of a sudden gets a... He pretty much fought a guy named Dudu. And he, and he, and he, and he earned... After he fought the guy Dudu, 
he pretty much uh <laughs> pretty much got earned the right to fight Sergey Kovalev after fighting him. Um so I I don't know what this guy Igor can do. Um he is he did lose one time. His one loss came from a guy named Alashki Kuzmaski. Yeah, getting a little bit better. So he was 21 at the time. The guy was that guy he lost to. He lost a unanimous decision to him, and that was for the German international lightweight title. And he, the guy, was 18 and one. But since that, since since he beat Igor, his record now is 23 and five with three KO knockouts. His last, he he lost to John Pascal in 2012. That's his last fight. So the guy's washed up. He beat this guy in 2010. This guy's pro debut. Igor's pro debut was in 20, 2007. Wow, from Russia. So these both of these guys are from Russia. He's a he's um he's a 11th rank um lightweight in the world. He's got a four and a half star. Like I said, he's a oh he's a southpaw too. Wow. Could he outbox? Could he outbox Sergey Kovalev? I doubt it. Uh huh. Uh huh. But he's been outboxed before. But I I doubt it. Like I said, I doubt it. Um, I doubt it. But uh, he 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 actually resides in uh, Hamburg, Germany now. So he moved away from Russia. He's six one, southpaw. Uh, age thirty two, Igor. So we'll see, man. To this pretty much unknown Igor. You know, we I've you know before this I've never heard of him. Nobody that I know ever talked about him. And I and I'm on pretty much about four to five podcasts, um, pretty four to five YouTube channels type deals. Um, and I've never heard of this guy, ever. So maybe it's just like a. Maybe he's a mandatory. I don't know. But I know he does have the IBO title. And uh, like I said, he got that title from the other guy. And I mean, like I said, it should be a good fight. But this guy looks like a boxer from, from what I'm reading. He looks like a boxer. He's not a KO artist at all by any stretch of the imagination. No type of K. He only has nine KOs in 21 fights. So he has about a 48% knockout ratio. Um. How can, well, you know, I, I got Sergey Kovalev winning this fight, um, you know, and we'll see where he goes after this. Does he call out Andre Ward in the ring? You know, where does he go from after he beats this guy? You know, does he does he fight the winner of Bivol Barrera, which I'll get to later. I think that's a more intriguing fight than this fight is. But uh, this is Corey Lee Boxing. Um... And I hope y'all please like and subscribe. Um, And y'all have a great day, man. All right.